Hey guys, Clay Archer, CEO of DPC Technology. And today we're gonna do a head-to-head -head comparison between the Unify Protect system and the Hike Vision ecosystem. Now really quick before we get into it, I wanna clarify a couple things so you guys don't get no nerd fight in the comments. First off, I know that Hike Vision's cameras are often used with third-party NVRs. For this comparison, we're gonna keep everything at Hike Vision, but in the future, we're going to do a comparison with the Blue Iris and Synology options. So go ahead and subscribe if you don't wanna miss those videos. Second, after our first couple of videos in the series, some people reached out and said we were comparing the Unify G4 cameras to less capable Hike Vision cameras. And they recommended that we add a color view camera to the mix, so we did. And we'll show that comparison later in this video. And by the way, we do have links to all of the products in this video down in the description. Lastly, I wanna point out that we're looking at this from the perspective of an IT managed service provider. Some of the things that we would give more weight to may not matter to you. We literally got hundreds of questions from you guys in the comments here on YouTube, as well as the Reddit and Facebook forums. And we condensed everything into 15 categories. So for simplicity, so for, so for simplicity's sake, we're gonna give one point to each category that we're comparing today. All right, all that said, let's get right into the comparison. I think you guys are gonna be pretty surprised with the results. So let's start off with cost and subscription price. Surprisingly, the cost of each system is comparable and neither have a subscription, which is great. I'm gonna give the one point to Hike Vision here because they have more lower cost, high quality cameras than Unify. I'm talking about you, G4 Pro and PTZ. And the NVR options come out way cheaper. But ultimately, there's not a lot of difference in price. And that brings us to range of cameras. This is an interesting one for me and I kind of struggle with this when I put together this test. I tend to go for the higher megapixel cameras and I got a lot of feedback to use different cameras than I ended up going with originally, like the color view camera, which you'll see in a minute. The large range of cameras in the obscure naming convention makes it very difficult to shop in the ecosystem. In stark contrast, Univice lineup is very concise. There's a G3 and a G4 dome, a G3, a G4 bullet, and so on. So you really can compare each camera and make an informed decision based off of what you need when you're buying. That being said, Hike Vision does have a ton more options, so I do have to give them the point for this one. That brings us to ease of use and install. I said in my last video, this is one of my most difficult and frustrating comparison videos I've ever done. I tried to install the Hike Vision system headless. I immediately gave up. I plugged in a monitor and the freaking mouse that came with the system so I could partition the hard drive to stop it from the annoying beeping. In contrast, you plug in the Unify system, you register it with the web interface, and it auto detects the cameras and sets them up for you. This is an easy point for Ubiquity. NVR quality. My first impression of the Hike Vision NVR is that it looks like a 10 year old cable box. That's not a horribly bad thing, but the software is just as archaic. Ubiquity's NVR on the other hand is a nice rack mounted RAID enclosure, and even the smaller cloud key offering is a well-built modern device. I think it's a clear point for Unify both on build quality and NVR software. Camera build quality. I think Unify has come a long way in their last generation of cameras. I'm really happy with the build quality, but Unify also has some lower end cameras that are plastic, like the Instant and the Flex. I don't think that should be held against them in this category, but if I'm being honest, I think the build quality of the Hike Vision units are better by a small margin. One note as well in this category, both companies had IR cast issues inside of their dome cameras, so I just wanted to note that. That brings us to image quality. This is a tough one for me because I haven't seen the entire Hike Vision line. Like I said before, several people recommended to test out the color view cameras from Hike Vision, so we'll go ahead and roll that video now. So I went ahead and ordered a color view camera and I just wanted to jump in real quick and show you uh, what a difference it makes. It really is an interesting piece of hardware. Uh, you can see the same uh, three cameras that I originally uh, did and I thought the eight megapixel camera was probably gonna be the kind of the bell of the ball there and give the best image. And I really do think the eight megapixel camera uh, is awesome. The image is great, but the, all of the cameras really did impress me at night. I don't think any of these images at night are, are all that great. No, they're not that bad, but the two at the top obviously don't look good in comparison to the bottom two. But you notice the color view one, it's pretty impressive. I will say there's always a little bit of phantom power in this room. You can see the ubiquity wrap up there. There is a light on in a room far away. I assure you it's not this bright everywhere, but this color view camera just lights it up like, uh, like it's Christmas. Sean has some LEDs underneath his desks, um, but just for comparison's sake, I want you to show, show you that full screen and then show you uh, one of these other cameras. In these cameras, you would I could convince you that it's, it's dark out. There is an emergency exit sign out in the front and there's one can that's always on in the front of the building. And like I said, there's a, there's a light on in a room, uh, two rooms away from this uh, meeting room. And uh, you can see that on a regular camera, it's not shining through at all. But on the color view camera, man, it is, it's shining. 
You can also see the telephone on Tina's desk in here. Uh, that's all that that light is, and it's really bright in there. If you were looking for something that uh, that really lit things up at night and really gave you kind of an accurate, colorized view, you can see this wall is green, and you wanted to have that kind of detail at night, I really am impressed by this camera. Like I said before, I think there are probably more cameras like this in Hike Vision's lineup that I just haven't been exposed to. What I will say is the cameras that I have reviewed, I have to give a slight edge to Ubiquiti's G4 line. The biggest difference for me is contrast and dynamic range. I always notice it in the light fixtures or bright windows, the fixtures. I can instantly pick out G4 cameras in a lineup because of it. Obviously, the G4 Pro is in a different category of expense, so I do slightly discount for that because you're paying such a premium. But the G4 Dome and the G4 Bullets are really punching hard in their price range. It's a narrow call, and I'm sure I'm going to hear about it in the comments, but I'm going to give this point to Ubiquiti. That brings us to Smart Detections. I was really happy last year when Ubiquiti added Smart Detections to the G4 lineup. I think their person and vehicle detection work really well and don't need much configuration. I think for most people, they work great. That being said, Hike Vision's detection features are much more robust and more customizable, with higher end features like license plate detection, people counting, heat maps, and more. Hike Vision easily gets the point for this one. Which brings us to alerts. This was closer than I thought. Unify has done a really good job with push notifications based on smart detections that you can set based off a of time of day and zones. However, Hike Vision's more robust AI and their audible alerts give them a slight edge in this category. That brings us to scalability. I feel like this is one of Hike Vision's strong suits. The way the software is written, it's easy to group and team systems. And I feel like if you were gonna build a system with more than 50 cameras, Hike Vision is going to be the better system. We've seen many people complain that once you start adding a lot of cameras to Unify software, it could start to bog down. This is typically not our use case. So we're gonna go with the prevailing opinion here and give this one to Hike Vision. Browser compatibility. This is gonna be a short one. I couldn't get Hike Vision to work with Edge or Chrome. Game over, point to Ubiquity. P.S. Ubiquity's web UI just works. When the website's not down, LOL. That brings us to the mobile app. Ubiquity's mobile app is really nice. It has all the features of the web app, plus two-way communications on the cameras that support it. The biggest drawback to the Hike Vision app is that we have to open router ports and configure the app to work with the MVR. Also, without saying too much here, because we're gonna to touch on it later, do you really wanna give Hike Vision access to your phone? I'm gonna give the point to Ubiquity here. Automatic updates. You may question whether you should turn on automatic updates or not. Obviously, there's pros and cons, but whether you're gonna do them manually or automatically, I think that Unify Protect interface is far easier to use. Easy point to Unify. Customer support. We have a rule here at DPC Technology that we don't give an opinion on something that we never tried, but we're gonna break that rule here. Thankfully, we haven't had to call support on either of these companies, but it's the general consensus that Ubiquiti's customer support is subpar to say the least. So we're gonna give the point to Hike Vision. The next one's a big one for me, brand trust. This was the number one question and comment when we asked for feedback on this comparison. To say that people distrust Hike Vision would be an understatement. Because Hike Vision has been banned from selling to US government agencies and has been identified as a security risk, it's difficult for a security company to recommend them. For this comparison video, each category is worth one point, but for me, this is probably worth five points. Over the years though, Ubiquiti has burnt its loyal supporters by discontinuing products like the Univi video line, and people have been forced to replace hardware before its obsolescence. Many people stay away from Ubiquiti for that alone. All things considered though, I have to give this point to Ubiquiti. That leads us right into security. Obviously the distrust of Hike Vision is one thing. The other issue we have with the Hike Vision products is having to open router ports or configure VPN clients. I know you're saying you can safely set up a VPN blah, 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 and that's true. But if I had a dollar for every time we onboarded a client and our monitor started screaming about port 37777, 554 or 8200 being open, I'd be rich. For us, if there's a choice between a product that makes us open ports and one that doesn't, that's a crystal clear choice for us. Point to Ubiquity. All right, so if you've been following along and keeping score, that gives us seven points for Hype Vision and eight points for Unify, giving them the win. What really stood out to me though is how close this came out in the end. It really could go either way depending on which categories you value the most. Again, we're a managed service provider and I saw a lot of comments that said, why do the IT guys always go for Unify? And the answer is quite simple. We preach to our clients all day, every day about security and it doesn't make sense for us to then turn around and ask them to open up ports on their firewall or set up a VPN to install a Chinese system that's on a banned device list. Quite honestly, it's a non-starter. I know that the risk may be low, but the optics are really bad. That being said, the Hike Vision system scales really well. It has a ton of advanced features. 
And if you're willing to put in the time to learn the complex system, I think it would work better at a really large install. If you're somebody that's looking for a nice system for your home, I'd still give Unify the nod for simplicity's sake and the user experience. Most of the things in the software just make sense. That being said, I'm really excited to try these less expensive Hike Vision cameras on the Synology Surveillance Station and Blue Iris software. If either of those have a more intuitive user experience, they may just give Unify a run for their money. Go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss those videos. And make sure to smash the like vision while you're down there. We also have links to everything in this video down in the description if you get hungry. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.